All right, Les. Well, you know some Calgary students proving that there's nothing you can't do when you put your mind to it. As David Boucher reports, they've been able to reach a major milestone in just two weeks. It's Susie's first visit to Calgary Quest School, a school for children with special needs. A whole variety of different syndromes, uh, from autism to um, uh, cerebral palsy. So we have a whole range. And it was in the yellow room where Ann Rennie first suggested students raise money to sponsor a guide dog. We felt that this was a really good opportunity for our kids to give back. The kids thought it was a great idea, and soon the entire school was involved. It took two weeks uh, to do, to collect $500, and we had to collect pennies. Enough to sponsor not one, but two guide dog puppies. We broke the record, like we be. We are unbeatable at raising money. Who are the guide dogs going? To go to. It was in class discussions like this that the kids learned what guide dogs do and who they assist. They use their eyes and ears to listen for vehicles that are oncoming, including fire trucks. It's going to help a blind person or somebody who has a disability. The puppies they are sponsoring, Brody and Griffin, recently arrived in Calgary. <laughs> they were tickled pink to meet Susie, and seeing a future guide dog up close and personal helps them feel good about the puppies they are sponsoring, the people they are helping, and themselves. It's really good because a lot of these children do suffer from self-esteem issues, and to do something that they can feel so good and so proud about for themselves is, is really important. How do you feel helping somebody? feels so great. I really like helping people that are kind of blind and stuff like that. We would like to present you this check. I kind of got a hiccup. That is absolutely wonderful. You guys were awesome. David Boucher, Global News. <laughs> that was too cute. They are so proud of their accomplishments. Good for them. You know what? Uh, we've got some good news this morning. You know, the number of car thefts down in our city. But there are still a number of vehicles.